Good morning, student. Today we are going to see uh, discrete probability distribution. Okay. Uh, in this discrete probability distribution, um, so I already explained about uh, what is meant by discrete probability distributions, and uh, we and we done many problems. But uh, in in this today's section, we are going to see. Uh, what is that uh, discrete probability distribution and it consists of three types of distributions here under the discrete probability distribution well, first thing is binomial distribution the next one is Poisson and geometric distributions so only three distributions are covered in our syllabus uh, but in today's section we are going to see only the binomial distribution um, and I am going to explain how to solve the problem under bi binomial distribution and we will see one by one in the next class okay mm. <coughs> so what is meant by binomial distributions uh, so the objective of this section uh, binomial distribution is uh, I am going to explain how to determine whether a probability experiment is a binomial experiment or not okay first we need to uh, determine whether the probability experiment is binomial or not that one I am going to explain second thing how to find the binomial probabilities using the binomial probability formula there is a formula separate formula for each distribution so first of all we need to identify the problem which belongs to the binomial distribution and then we need to use the probability that is binomial probability formula to find the binomial probabilities okay then third thing I am going to explain how to find binomial probabilities using a formula and a binomial table and then we are going to construct and graph a binomial distribution and at last uh, I am going to explain how to find the mean variance and standard deviation of a binomial probability distribution. Uh, there is a proof for uh, mean uh, to find the mean variance and uh, MGF okay moment generative function for a binomial probability distribution that proof and all I will explain it in a separate video okay uh, here I am going to use only the formula uh, for mean variance and standard deviation uh, okay uh, to find that value uh, of a binomial probability distribution okay uh, let us repeat straw uh, the binomial experiments so the experiment is repeated for a fixed number of trials where each trial is independent of other trials so these are all the uh, assumption we need to take uh, for the binomial experiments so here the trial is independent uh, of other trials so each trials are independent to each other here there are only two possible outcomes uh, for each trial uh, see each outcome can be classified as a success yes and or a failure if okay uh, only two outcomes one is success another one is failure okay so only for uh, two outcomes uh, is possible here in binomial experiment the third thing the probability of the success p of s is the same for each trial okay uh, it will not get uh, different successes for all the trial you will have the same probability of success that is p of s please note that we are going to denote the letter s for success and f for failure so probability of s denotes the probability of success um, in a in our books and all, uh, you can denote the probability of success as small p and probability of failure as small f, uh, sorry, q. Okay, probability of success we can denote it as small p and probability of failure is denoted as small q. Okay, it's up to you, you can use any letter, but in our books and all, we, uh, we are going to use small p and small q. Uh, the next thing. The, the random variable x counts the number of successful trials please note it the formula we are going to use for a binomial experiment in that formula the x denotes the uh, number of successful trials okay uh, so these are all the symbols we are going to use see what i have told here probability of success you can denote it as p and probability of f you can denote it as q please note that if you sum up the p and q uh, the value should come as 1 please note it the value should come as 1 so i will write it here you can understand it well
so please note it here p plus q is equal to 1 so to get the value for q you can get bring that p to the other side so the formula for q it becomes as 1 minus p okay if you know any one of the value you can get the other value just subtract it from 1 and n denotes the number of times a trial is repeated and x denotes a uh, number of successful trials okay here the x varies from 0 to n please note it uh, so these are all the notations uh, for the binomial experiments okay uh, so we are going to identify whether the experiment is binomial or not so decide whether the experiment is a binomial or uh, experiment um, just we are going to see on example if it is specify the values of n p q and list the possible values of the random variable x okay from this problem we need to specify the value for n p and q and list the possible value of x so here the certain surgical procedure has an 85 percent chance of success a doctor performs the procedure on eight pa patients the random variable represents the number of successful surgeries so here the value for here the binomial experiment no each surgery represents a trial here there are eight surgeries so each one is independent of the other then second one there are only two possible outcomes of interest for each surgery okay uh, one is success another one is failure two possible outcomes the probability of success p of s is here it is given as 0 0.85 for each surgery and the random variable x counts the number of successful surgery uh, so here the from the problem uh, we can identify the number of trial n value as 8 and p as 0 0.85 and q value you can get it subtract 1 minus p 1 and p so you can get the value as 0 0.15 which is which denotes the probability of failure here the x values counts from actually it counts, should be counts from 0 1 2 3 up to n but here there are only 8 trials so it's stopped at from up to 8 so these are all the number of successful surgeries uh, the next thing decide whether the experiment is a binomial specify again another experiment it, it is given a jar contains five red marbles nine blue marbles and six green marbles so red marbles are five and blue marbles are nine and green marbles are six you randomly select three marbles from this jar without replacements we are not replacing the uh, marbles which you have been selected so the random variable represent the number of red marbles okay red marbles so this is the problem given uh, whether it is a binomial distribution or not we will check uh, here they have given it is not a binomial distribution why it is not a binomial distribution we will check the problem of selecting a red marble on the first trial is here how many red marbles are there so there are uh, five red marbles out of here total it comes as uh, 15 20 so out of uh, 20 there are 5 red marbles the probability of selecting the red marble is 5 by 20 ok after selecting one red marble we are not replacing ok it is not replaced so the probability of success for subsequent trial uh, you will get uh, it, it will not so it becomes one marble getting reduced no so you will get the probability as 5 by uh, 19 like that if it is a red marble it will also get reduced 4 by 19 like that so here the successful uh, in, in successful trial the probability of getting success it will not be same like 5 by 20 it will reduce uh, but according to the binomial experiment the number of trials should be same number of successful trials should be same in all the trials but here it is not like that so therefore and also the trials are not independent it depends on the uh, another thing because uh, we are not replacing the marble so the first trial is independent on the another trial okay the second trial and the second trial also depends on the third trial so here each trial is also not independent so the probability of success is not the same for each trial do you understand therefore this experiment is not a uh, binomial experiment <coughs> okay uh, 
now i am going to give you the binomial probability formula so this is the formula p of x the probability of exactly x successes in n trial is p of x is equal to n c x p power x q power n c x uh, you know uh, so you know what is that n c x n c x means uh, just the combination do you know about the combination what's the formula for ncx so i will write it here actually n should be denoted like that so n factorial by um, n minus x factorial into r factor so this is the formula okay this is a, the, that's the only it is given as uh, like that so x factorial okay p power x q power x please note it n c x i will write it here n c x c x s n factorial by n minus x factorial into x factor so this is a formula for combination so we can use that one uh, I, 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 instead of that we can use our calculator in that calculator one button denotes n c x that button we can use it for the combination and here n denotes the number of trials p denotes the probability of success uh sorry p denotes the probability of success and q denotes the probability of failure you can get the value as 1 minus p and x denotes the number of successes in n trials so the number of failure here please note it it is uh, num n minus x okay so that's why for the probability of failure the power is the number of failure and probability of success the power comes as the number of success as a power okay so if you can uh, uh, take into account you can remember the formula uh, so you will not forget it quickly okay you can remember it easily so n c x p power x q power n minus x so next thing um, we are going to find the binomial probability so let we have this form uh, example Microfracture knee surgery has a 75% chance of success on patients with degenerative knees. The surgery is performed on three patients. Find the probability of the surgery being successful on exactly two patients. Okay, so exactly two patients. So what they are ask, asking in the question. So this is our question. Find the probability for the surgery which is successful on exactly two patients. So what is given what they are asking here that's the value for x and 75 percent chance of success so here the p value this is the probability of success 75 percentage if you subtract it, this value from one you will have the probability of failure so you will get the q value if you subtract it from one so we know the value for p q x now we need the n so the surgery is performed for three patients okay so uh, first of all we need to write down all the uh, given values uh, wait a minute so uh, i will i will give you the tree diagram for this so draw a tree diagram and use the multiplication rule so uh, uh, we already seen about the multiplication rule so we are going to uh, use that multiplication rule after we draw this uh, tree diagram first surgery success failure okay it, there is a possibility of getting success or failure and right uh, if you are getting success in the first surgery in the second surgery you may get uh, success or failure in the first surgery or uh, after you finish the first surgery uh, you may get here for the failure also you may get success or fail so likewise for each success we can write success and failure like that so there are three surgeries or they are doing so this is the tree diagram for that so at last we need to write like this okay so that one will give you sss then here you can give yes 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 Okay. the next thing yes f yes then next thing yes f f okay likewise for failure all these things is coming here the number of successes only we need to count it here it is 3 here 2 2 here the number of successes 1 here it is 2 here 1 1 okay 
after that we need to find the probability for each successors so if there are number of successors here three no so the probability for all is see out of uh, here three by four you will get okay for three surgeries you will get three by four dot three by four dot three by four so totally uh, if you multiply the you see because we are using the multiplication rule so at last you will get 22 by 64 and then if there is two success so we are doing 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 for failure we are doing 1 by 4 at last you will get 9 by 64 okay i hope that you can understand well see here there is all our failure so all are multiplied by 1 by 4 can you understand uh, because the probability of getting failure is here 1 by 4 the probability of getting success is 3 by 4 why, how you are getting why you are writing 3 by 4 so they have given 75 percent as a success sorry 75 percent as a uh, success no so that's why we are writing p as 75 percent uh, which is 3 by 4 and uh, if you subtract one 25 percent is a probability of failure uh, so this is probability of success probability of failure which is this is the value for p this is the value for q so 1 minus 3 by 4 you will get uh, 1 by 4 okay that's why we are writing like this 1 by 64 everything but they are asking probability of only two get successful no so for that we need to do like this we need to use the formula n c the formula is n c x p power x q power n minus x uh, uh, this is the by through formula also you can find out but here by tree diagram this is one method another method by using the formula by tree method you are getting only two successful surgeries where are the two successful surgeries yes 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 another one f yes 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 so for that 9 by 64 9 by 64 here 9 by 64 so that's why you are multiplying by 3 because there are 3 9 by 64 we, we can add 9 by 64 so you can get 0 0.422 this is the answer this is one of the method another method we can use the formula binomial probability formula here the n value is 3 p value is 3 by 4 q value is 1 by 4 x value is 2 just substitute in the formula okay you will get the same answer see i hope that you can understand how to get the uh, probabilities using binomial uh, probability formula here the binomial probability distribution this is the possible value of x with the corresponding probability for each and then probability distribution for each uh, for the micro fracture knee surgery n is equal to 3 no so here the x values comes as 0 1 2 3 then the p value comes as for 0 you will get like this everything can cal we, we calculated before so just substitute here so use binomial probability formula to find the probabilities okay uh, this is another example uh, in a survey us adults were asked to give reasons why they li like testing on their cellular phones seven adults who participated in the surgery are randomly selected and asked whether they like testing because it is quicker than calling create a binomial probability distribution for the number of adults who respond yes okay who who uh, who and all respond so why do we like texting convenient for basic information they have given us 79 percent 75 percent so these are all the uh, survey they have responded uh, from the people uh, by surveying okay uh, so 56 percent are like testing because it is a quicker than calling so that one they are uh, taking okay create a binary for the number of others who respond yes okay here for the texting they are asking now see for the texting how much the percentage for testing it is 54 percentage 56 quicker calling basic uh, talking won't okay uh, great for filtering okay so 56 percent are like like texting because it is quicker than calling it is quicker than calling 56 percentage 
quicker it is quicker than calling no that is the 56 percentage that one they are taken as a probability and the number of failure is 0.44 so x is uh, how many of them here in um, seven adults they have seven adults have participated in the sur uh, survey so therefore they taken the n value as seven so therefore the x value range is from zero to seven so these values we are going to substitute in the formula like this for p uh, p x equal to zero for x equal to one what are the values is coming at loss we need to add it okay so uh, here uh, they are asking only constructing a binomial distribution for construction we need to display the x values and the corresponding probabilities so this is the binomial distribution so all of the probabilities are between should be 0 to 1 keep in mind i already explained the probability should lies between 0 to 1 and the sum of the probability should be equal to 1 so if you add up you will get the 1 okay uh, this is the another example uh, take it as a homework okay today homework take it like this you can do by yourself so the answer should come as 0.548 please check it at home whether you are getting this answer please note it here they are asking at least two of them respond yes so at least means you need to use greater than equal to symbol so here p of x should be greater than equal to 2 means what's the meaning we, we need to take p of x is equal to up to what n value is 4 no so the loss value is 4 so greater than or equal to 2 mm. so x is equal to 2 plus x is p of x is equal to 3 then p of x is equal to 4 okay so these three value we need to sum up <coughs> two or more we have explained here so we need to find out all these three values and at last we need to add it okay so the that's why they have found out like this and okay please take it as a homework and do it at home and uh, this is a uh, by using a table how we can find the binomial probability it is explained here uh, so this is the uh, there is a binomial uh, distribution table is available uh, but in our mm. portion it is no, no need uh, by using the table because uh, we are not uh, going to use the table we, we need to use the um, formula uh, but anyway I will explain you how to find the binomial properties using a table here they have given all the n value as 6 and p value as 0 0.30 eight workers see eight workers uh, ten percentage okay ten about ten percentage of workers in the unit so so ten percentage you randomly select eight workers what is the probability exactly four of them uh, carpool to work use a table to find the probability but here the n value they have given us okay see n equal to 4 here the what is the, what they are asking exactly 4 so this is the x value there are 8 workers so n value is 8 uh, here it is wrong n value is 8 x value is 4 and this is 10 percentage everything is wrong please correct it in the slide it is wrong 0 0.10 please correct it and for this n value, n value is 8 they have given in the table binomial distribution table we need to choose n for this n the x value is 4 and here they have given the probability of success as 0 0.10 because this side the p denotes ok so 0 0.10 so you need to go like this for 4 so this is the probability 0 0.005 for exactly 4 of, of the 8 workers corporal to work the probability is 0 0.004 so by using the table it's very easy to get the answer so that's why we are not using this table so you should use the formula to find out the probabilities okay uh, how to graphing a binomial distribution see uh, for see if after you got this value x and p of x 
please note if in the in the x axis we need to take the x values and in the y axis we need to take the corresponding probability if you plot it you will get an histogram like this okay this is the way how to plot a uh, binomial distribution so these are all the mean variance and standard deviation formula for binomial distribution to find the mean variance standard deviation you can use this formula n mean which is np and variance is npq and standard deviation is root of npq okay so they have given the p value so we need only p q and n value if you know all these three values you can find the mean variance and standard deviation so this is the p value they have given and q value you can find out so mean variance and everything okay here well, how they are find whether they have given ns 30 ah see the number of cloudy days during the month of june is 30 number of days is 30 no so that's why they, they have taken as ns 30 p as 0 0.65 uh, 0 0.56 and q as 0.44 uh, so at last the mean value as mu is equal to np that's why they are getting this answer 16.8 and likewise the variance npq just substitute in that formula you will get the answer like this okay um, so on average there are 16.8 cloudy days during the month of zoom that's the inference you are getting the standard deviation is about 2.7 days okay mm -hmm. So I had finished so far, uh, I had explained in this session the binomial distribution, uh, how to find out the binomial distribution by using two methods I had explained, one method by drawing the tree, uh, then binomial tree we can draw, from that we can find by using the multiplication rule we can get the probabilities, otherwise we can use the probability formula uh, to get the probability. Uh, second thing I had explained the <coughs> how to form a probability distribution okay in a table and how to construct and uh, draw the graph for the binomial distribution at last i have explained about uh, how to find the mean variance and standard deviation by using the formula the mean formula is what just mu is equal to np and variance is uh, npq and standard deviation is root of npq okay uh, students uh, we will see in the next class. Today's section is over. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.